Next up is uh, Matt Seidel and Jordan Oliver. Let's talk about this match, Nigel. Well, whoever wins this match will move on to the tournament. I've seen Matt Seidel do some of the most amazing things I've ever seen in a wrestling ring. I think, oh, there's Jake again. I <laughs> And there he is. This is that familiar music. You've got to open up your third eye, Nigel. Are you ready? You got your third eye open there? No, I don't wear glasses. <laughs> as, as you're sitting here with glasses on. <laughs> Sunglasses. <laughs> I do not require a pair of glasses. No, I thought those were prescription. No, absolutely not. If they're a prescription, I'd be able to see you. Thank God I can. And there he is. See? Yes, Telling you to open up that third eye. So what you're telling me is he's one of those crystal-wearing hippies. Yeah, exactly. Well, this isn't going to go well for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Matt uh. Seidel, veteran. Man, how long has he been in this game? At least, I think at least 15 years. Uh, of course, he was wrestled under Evan Bourne, wrestled in WWE, Ring of Honor. Uh, actually, Flip Gordon's very first match ever in Ring of Honor was against Mr. Matt Seidel. So, he's connected to a lot of different people. And tonight, his opponent, this young guy, young, young up and what's Matt doing over there? Maybe his third eye saw a fly. Uh, maybe. There we go. Um, as we were saying, he's taking on this youngster right here, Mr. Jordan Oliver. Another MLW talent. I don't, I don't know. Jordan Oliver setting up to square off against Matt Seidel. All right, here we go. Matt Seidel, Jordan Oliver. This should be a high-flying affair, Mr. Rabbit. And here we go, with that, the match is underway. Seidel looking for the handshake. Doesn't that just make you sick? Hey, at least they're not hugging yet. Wait, they hug? You know, the whole thing, you know, never mind. Collar right. elbow tie up. Oliver forcing Seidel into the corner. Reversed. Oh, I see you're using your third eye. Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. George talking about that third eye. I wonder if it's considered an eye gouge if you go after the third eye. That's a good question. Why don't we ask him? Well, you have to ask the referee, really. I mean, if the referee doesn't consider it an eye gouge, it's not going to call it. Waist lock by Oliver Seidel working to break the hold. Look at that. Oh, working on that arm, working on the shoulder already. That control taking him down, keeping that cinched in on the arm. I'll tell you, it's just nice seeing a veteran like Matt Seidel go to work. It really is. Everything's crisp. He looks like, look at him, he looks like he's in great shape. He looks like a million bucks. A little bit in my hair. Oh, yeah. I don't think a million bucks is, 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 is yeah, that out. tall. Has abs like that? I don't know. I, I, I tend not to look at the male form. <laughs> Headlock by Seidel. 
Snapmare pinfall. Oh, no. Yes, sort of. Oh, kind maybe. Of. Kermit. Back into a headlock. Very nicely done by Seidel. Good exchange. A little bit of a clinic. Oliver reverses. Seidel right back in. And ooh, look at that. Keeping control on that arm the entire time. Got him trapped in the head scissors as well as got that arm entwined. And this is where missing that bottom rope is going to make a big difference. If Seidel is planning on working a pure submission game on Oliver, absolutely. And that may be exactly his plan, noting the absence of that bottom rope. Mm -hmm. Oliver trying to return in kind, but reversed and forced to the rope by Seidel. Referee calling for a break. And Seidel letting up at two. Well, maybe his third eye thought it would be rude. <laughs> Got to align your shocker, Nigel. Come on. There are children listening to this. Align my shocker. Align your shocker. Matt into the Oliver. ropes. Whip to the ropes. Ooh. Ooh. Went for the standing backflip. Caught and look at that. Oliver catches Seidel with a drop kick, sends him crashing down to the mat. And just like that, Matt Seidel's got to go back to the drawing board here. Seidel back in. Look at it, goes for a trip and back to work on the submission game. Wrenching that knee. I guess it's my fault for saying we had a high flying affair coming and now it's turned into a submission match. You just shouldn't try. Look Ooh, at this. Look at that hold. Have you ever seen anything like that in the ring, Nigel? Uh, no. <laughs> Good wit ring awareness by Seidel. Ooh, and man, Oliver nips right back up. Think he regrets that though. Look at that, shaking it off. Trying to maintain. Into the test of strength here. Got some old school grappling at its finest. You gotta think that Seidel's got the strength advantage though. Doesn't matter the strength advantage when comes the kicks. Oliver taking Seidel off his feet. Then goes for a trip, look at that. And for a little bit of submission of his own. Yeah, Seidel counters it into almost a rear naked choke. Look at that. Oliver very comfortable and confident. I'm enjoying seeing this side of Matt Seidel. Calculating the submission style that he's using tonight. Oh, Ooh. look at that. The absence of that bottom rope makes things a little bit more interesting. Ooh, into a, almost like a drop kick through the top of the second rope. Almost a pendulum drop kick. Pendulum drop yes. kick. Yeah, pendulum call. drop kick by Jordan Oliver. Back to the, let's go old school, back to the chops. Mr. Oliver, if you decide to use uh, that term, uh, I get 25 cents every time it's said. Write the check. Ooh, now we got a, a little chop exchange going here. Oh, turns his back on Seidel, gets a chop to the back for his troubles. And then a cross face, forearm to the face. Never turn your back on your opponent. Well, you know, Even if he is a quote unquote good guy. I don't think Seidel's a good guy. He's got a third eye. That makes him a mutant. I've seen what mutants do. Oh yeah? Yes. It's in all of the films and storybooks. Not very nice people. <laughs> Jordan Oliver, very pleased with his performance against Matt Seidel. And see, this is where he's, look at this. What's, what's he doing? He should be on Matt Seidel. 
Uh, it'd be difficult to be on someone that you cannot uh, cannot immediately see. Oh, there he is, out of nowhere. Sindel. It's like he was hiding around the corner. Looks like he, uh, Seidel snuck under the apron and worked his way to the other side of the ring. Going back to that third eye of his. Seidel helping Oliver back in the ring. Big clubbering blow to the back. Matt Seidel in control. Jordan beckoning for more. Goes for some kicks. Oh! Look at that. Oh! Back to that leg again. You want to give it up? Wrenching back on the knee and the ankle. That just makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, look at Seidel. He's like a, a shark that smells blood in the water at this point. Seidel is firmly in control. Big chop. School is in session, Mr. Oliver. Professor Seidel. Whip to the rope, duck. Look at that high angle flip. A beautiful front flip into a sunset. Oh, and right back to that leg. It's a beautiful high angle flip into a sunset. Because let, let's be honest, it was that high angle and dive that really caused the momentum shift for Seidel. But uh, Oliver in not a, a good position at all. Much like our, on our women's side, it looks like if Oliver does win this match, he's going to be a little worse for wear going into the final. Big chop. Series of chops and punches by Jordan Oliver. Whip Seidel rushes in. Big back elbow. Huge back elbow. Clothesline to the back of the head by Seidel. Can he capitalize? Not interested in capitalization. He wants to make an example. Oh, look at this. Oh! That's a variation on a figure four. I've seen Matt Seidel pull out some missions that I didn't even know existed until tonight. Yeah, no, I'll have to agree with you. That's a... <laughs> He's definitely proving to be a versatile... Oh. And vicious oh competitor. Your body's not supposed to have been that way. Jordan Oliver is showing a tremendous amount of perseverance, but you have to ask, is it worth it? Look at the pressure on that ankle. Matt Seidel a little frustrated that he has not been able to make Jordan Oliver tap. He's got to be thinking, what else does he have to do? Series of elbows to the midsection. There we go, another big forearm from Seidel. Man, both of these warriors looking weary after this one. And think about it, they're both one of these two. Either one, whoever walks away with their hand held high after this match, has got to go at it again tonight. Yup. No reprieve at all. Well, I mean, there's some reprieve. They'll get a little bit of... <sighs> Maybe about five minutes in the corner. Grab some water or Gatorade. What's Seidel thinking here? Saying something to the ref. May may very well uh, may very well be encouraging the referee to check to see if Jordan Oliver will uh, can continue. Uh, will continue. Let's be honest. It's not a matter of can. Will he? Oh! oh. I thought Matt was going over there to check on him the way. He <laughs> well, I mean, he did. He checked Ooh. on his chest there for him. Big shot to the side of the head and a boot. 
Jordan Oliver in harm's way. Seidel's got to be looking to finish Ooh. at this point. Punch to the side of the head. <laughs> Seidel, constant mind games from Matt Seidel. Another big headbutt. Jordan Oliver trying uh, and successfully getting to a vertical base and now trading punches with Matt Seidel. Yeah, this whole thing is degenerated into a, into a bar fight almost. Look at that, Oliver catches the punch and knee to the midsection. Exchanges of punches and chops by Jordan Oliver rocking Matt Seidel. Neither man able to put the other one away. Ooh! Damn. So that left leg again. Uh, uh, Seidel is not, is not, and will not let up on that leg. Whip reversal, Seidel comes back out, caught by Ooh. Oliver, look at that. Beautiful Uranagi. Pinfall, one, two. Oh my goodness, only two. I just gotta say, what power Oliver ex exhibited there, especially with that left leg going out from underneath him. He was still able to get Seidel up for the high angle Uranagi. Look at these guys, what else have they got to do to each other? Neither one conceding. Look at this, oh! Reversal, pinball, one, two. That was a close one. It's a unique counter if ever I saw one. Oh! oh it's a double, oh. Seidel trying to keep that arm bar from, see how he's got his hands clasped together? Absolutely. If Jordan can break that grasp and get that arm straightened out, Seidel is in a bad place. Turn it into a pinning predicament. Very wise on the part of Matt Seidel. Oh, beautiful outside in stunner. Seidel still on his feet though. Oh! Running boot, one, two. Oh my goodness. What has he got to do to keep Matt Seidel down, Nigel? Poke him in the third eye. This guy just will not stop coming at you. No, really, I think you, he, he's like a video game character. Oh yeah? You poke him in that third eye, he'll fall over dead. Like King Hippo, where you just gotta, you know, hit the little never, X on his tummy? I've never met your mom. Oh man. Hi, mom. Miss you. All right. Ooh, big <laughs> jumping spin kick. Seidel running into the boots, caught them. Look at that! Oh. Standing jump into a Hurricane Rana from the top, pin for one, two. Ooh, back to that submission. And he taps out, Jordan Oliver's tapping. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match moving on to the final round of our men's tournament, Matt Seidel. With a submission victory, I might add. So what this means is we're going to see Jake Logan squaring off against Matt Seidel later in this program on this very night. We don't have to wait till tomorrow night to see the results of these tournaments. We're gonna see them right in this evening. Jake Logan and Matt Seidel. I'm trying to wrap my mind around this. <laughs> Jake Logan against Matt Seidel. Oh, and Matt showing the ultimate sign of respect there. Welcome in his third arm. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Oh, That's no. why he didn't win. Oh, is that it? Absolutely. Didn't have that. Uh, didn't have that. That killer instinct. Oh, looks like Seidel's pumped up, and he's ready for whoever. He's ready for Jake Logan.